Hey, good afternoon. Just wanted to do a quick review on the the Husky. Uh, they call it a, a work chest, uh, 72 inch uh, heavy duty uh, adjustable workbench. Um, kind of showing you my layout. I also added the pegboard on the back. <clears throat> Got the sockets on top uh, because they stand up and it won't fit in the two inch or one inch drawer. A lot of people are talking about the one inch drawer not holding wrenches in their, you know, factory kit. As you can see, mine is the Milwaukee sets perfect, just clears it. I was uh, kind of worried about that in the beginning, but it uh, it fits perfect. Um, also got some channel lock uh, adjustable pliers that uh, have a, like a 45 degree angle. Really great for oil filters, by the way. And it also fits and the door closes completely fine. <clears throat> They're all ball bearing drawers, uh, super durable. I mean, I've got a lot of weight in this thing, except for that drawer right there. But um, got a lot of weight on it. I uh, haven't had any issues. They're all soft clothes. Um, you know, got uh, sockets there. The wheels are super nice. They, they're real perfect. Now, here's a, one drawer I put. I didn't want to have a bunch of stuff closed up where I can't figure out what it is. So, I just ripped the top off. Um, and I had to cut that one a little bit right there. To get it to fit inside that drawer for the little specialty stuff <clears throat> but um uh you know it's it's a great it's it's a one-time purchase yeah it's a little pricey i think it was like 1400 but uh you know you're gonna have it the rest of your life it's not like you're gonna go swap this out you know every couple years that's uh talking about the way that drawer has got a lot of weight in it right there but um you know, it's it's kind of a one-time buy. You're not uh, going to be purchasing something like this every day. It's an investment. Um, I believe, you know, most of the time, good stuff ain't cheap. Cheap stuff ain't good. Um, got a little screwdriver thing from, Co from uh, Lowe's Craftsman my brand new vice i just put on replace the old one that's a harbor freight special right there uh, i mean it's cheap but that's a really good quality vice uh i think it's the ductile cast however you say it but uh that thing is a beast and it was relatively cheap so but there's the adjustable tabletop i think it goes up I'd say, i think it goes up a foot if i'm not mistaken could be wrong but it it goes up pretty high now i've got the the pegboard and stuff that's going to prevent it from going all the way up i don't want to take everything down so just giving you a demonstration if, uh you know you got tons of storage in there uh it's the whole length at the top <clears throat> and you probably have probably two to three inches of depth where you can put stuff in there where you can still close the top Uh, you can lock all the doors, but I'm not going to do that. Just a couple shots here of uh, putting it back down. Be careful if you mount a vise. Uh, just a heads up, the base goes in probably an inch and a half on each side. Uh, so when you bolt the vise down... Uh, just be sure to accommodate that inch and a half on each side or you'll be drilling extra holes like I did. Uh, there's the lock for the wheels. <clears throat> on and off. Got enough room underneath. I got some four-ton jack stands. They put them on their side and they slide right in there. Um, it's open in the back, so there's the other side. It's got your power strip over there, handle which you'll need because this thing is heavy as crap. It's hard to maneuver. Once those wheels turn one way, 
you almost got to kick the wheels to get them to spin uh, easily. Got a couple things on Amazon. There's little hook things for extension cords. It works out pretty well. A uh, couple little pegboard things from uh, Mad Tools. Really good quality. Uh, I like those uh, quite a bit. And as far as like the normal peg stuff, there's, you know how you put a, uh, like a hanger in the pegboard and it's all wobbly and loose? Well, their stuff is a little bit thicker. It still wobbles just a hair, but uh, it's 10 times better than you know, a typical standard one, but there you go, guys. That's a review of the 72 inch Husky workbench.